Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and in this video we are going to see some features of the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 2, the Oxygen OS 2.0. As you all would be knowing that uh, OnePlus and Sign Engine, uh, but uh, their partnership uh, ended in a bitter fight and uh, OnePlus was forced to make their own um, ROM or uh, UI whatever you call it and they named it as Oxygen OS. It earlier on came for the OnePlus 1 and uh, uh, with the launch of OnePlus 2 they have uh, launched the next version of the uh, Oxygen OS which is 2.0 and we will in this video have a look uh, at its uh, at some of uh, its features because we expect uh, those features to be coming to OnePlus 1 also very soon so first of all uh, in the beginning of this video we need to get a base rule or a base of for uh, this video and uh, the base for this video is that we are only having a look at the Oxygen OS and not at all comparing it with Sun Engine mod. The uh, comparison between Sun Engine mod will be coming pretty soon. So do stay tuned for that. But this video is just for the Oxygen OS 2.0's features. So to start up with, we will first of all have a look at the Android version. It's running on Android 5.1.1 Oxygen OS 2.0.0. And uh, I've had this phone for a couple of days. And the first impression that uh, you get from this phone uh, is that the UI looks and feels very similar to the stock uh, Android uh, in the starting but when we dig a little bit uh, inside the OS we do find some very useful features and uh, I have also found that the Oxygen OS is a very good uh, replacement for the Sun Engine mod so I was used to of using Sun Engine mod on the OnePlus One and the moment I uh, came to the OnePlus Two I have not uh, missed a lot of things in this yes, I, uh, yes a couple of things uh, are here and there uh, but that will be included in Sun Engine mod versus Oxygen OS but uh, in overall it's a very good replacement for Sun Engine mod for this phone when we start to dig around in this uh, UI we do find some, uh, some features that add a lot of practicality and functionality to the Google stock experience and um, I really think that Google should consider some of these things some of these features are like shelf the uh, first of all we th thought that the shelf was only used for the for the apps and the contacts but we can add as many uh, widgets as we want so I do have a long list of widgets and we can add as many as we want and uh, the shelf is a good thing it is not Google now and it doesn't works like Google now but uh, it does uh, gets its work done and uh, works pretty fine the second thing that i really found uh, interesting was the was the dark theme so the moment you uh, switch on the dark theme it changes the whole ui uh, into a, dark, a darker color theme we have seen this similar thing in the android m's uh, developer preview but uh, in this it's uh, a little bit enhanced as well because we can even select the accent colors from the eight uh, eight colors that uh, they've given us, or uh, plus the default color, so you can customize it a little bit uh, to more of your uh, liking. And we can even customize the LED notification light. Another thing that I liked a lot about this uh, was the icon packs. So as you can see, it is right now running on the system default icon packs. But as many icon packs you can uh, put in, you can. Uh, you must because uh, you can select uh, directly from here you don't need a third party installer or uh, a launcher you can uh, directly support all the icons from here which is really very good another thing that i liked a lot was the icon uh, was the app drawer grid size we can change it to small medium or large May medium will be the standard so if we put it to small it will go to this which really looks good but uh, increases the draw uh, slides as you can see this really looks good and uh, if we put it here to um, large we will have a lot of icons on uh, one single page which converts uh, less of uh, slides so another uh, great thing that i found was the rearranging of the quick uh, quick toggles so uh, i drew i use only these uh, five from the quick toggle so I've only switched them on but if you need more you can switch them on from here just press and uh, the moment it changes its color from black to white that means that it's on it will be available for display so as you can see these all are now available and if I don't need it I can switch them off like this 
and even I can rearrange it very easily. That's really a neat trick that uh, OnePlus has added. Another great thing that uh, regarding the OnePlus One was the buttons. It was the first phone that uh, anyone would have seen that uh, had both the capacitive keys and even the on-screen keys and uh, that option really boosted the customization from uh, for the consumer's point of view and uh, OnePlus 2 is not lagging behind and on top of that they've given more of customization on the OnePlus 1 we were restricted to using this as the back key and this as the recent task key but on the OnePlus 2 we can even swap that as well so this button as swap button is really good so this will not work as the recent key now it this will work as the recent key so this is really good thing good thinking from oneplus and another thing that uh, uh, that is really good is that uh, we can keep the home button always switch on so i've uh, kept the home button always switch on we can even program it uh, what uh, what could to happen uh, when we double press it and long press it so a single press will always take you to the home screen. I've added it uh, as double press for sleep. So it's very similar to double tap to sleep, but uh, it's on this uh, fingerprint sensor, which I really like. And uh, I've put a long press as my camera. So as you can see, it, the camera just switched on immediately which was really very good so in the buttons point of view oneplus has thought a lot and uh, deliver also gestures are also supported in this uh, rom so as we can see double tap to wake camera flashlight music control everything is supported so as you can see the off screen gestures are supported we'll try out a couple of one uh, right now like o for the camera and it it's open and uh, another one will be v for the flashlight and it's done so that's really good another thing that I really liked about uh, this ROM was the camera UI as you can see it is very minimalistic and uh, also it takes some uh, features from somewhere and some features from somewhere and delivers a really good camera app it is really very easy to use as you can see the exposure can be edited from just like this which is a good thing even the flash can be edited over here so we don't have to look around timer and uh, switch to front camera and back camera that's good and if you need more they do give us uh, three settings which are HDR, beauty and clear image uh, photos, videos, panorama, slow motion, time lapse everything is supported uh, picture resolution is 12.4 megapixel which is 13 megapixel so the camera app is also very nicely done. Another thing that is built in uh, in this ROM and uh, I really like this uh, is the app permissions. So you can see it clearly that the uh, app permissions are there which will be coming in Android M and uh, OnePlus has included it earlier on as well. So for example we'll go into the Facebook app and it shows us that uh, Facebook is taking so many permissions from us we can edit it and uh, give them a lot of permission so cell phones we will not give them a permission and that's switched off now so guys this was a video on uh, some features of the Oxygen OS 2.0 on the OnePlus 2 hopefully this uh, ROM would be coming to OnePlus 1 also very soon and if it does I will be making a video if it's uh, any different and if it's not then uh, you can follow this video only guys do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and your one click on the red subscribe button can help us a lot and uh, we are also running a couple of giveaways on our channel one of them is oneplus2 invites we will be getting three shareable invites and we are giving all of those away and uh, one of them is the UFIT. Uh, I will be leaving. I will be leaving the direct links to that uh, videos. So do check them out and uh, do take part in the giveaways. And um, I and thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, see ya.